Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. This is a follow-up video to last week's How to Live in Brazil regarding building properties, rental properties, little apartments. They're actually called kitchenettes, but we'll call them apartments. So this video this week is how much money do I need to start? Okay. So building, coming here with X amount of money to start with your projects, okay? Well I'd like to say thank you very much to everyone who tuned in for last week's and sent me the messages, I had a few emails, people showing interest, asking questions and this was one of the questions, how much to start, that's why I'm doing this video. So I hope this video is going to be some help to you and I'm giving you my honest opinion as I said in the first video. Okay, so you can do the uh, conversion afterwards. I'll give you the price in reais and this is my opinion. Now we spoke about apartments, building these rental apartments. This can work anywhere in Brazil. Rental's a big thing. So first of all, I've got myself a list here. You need to buy yourself a piece of land, obviously. If you're buying in the city center, one of the by rules of a city, it'll be a little bit more expensive. As long as it's big enough to put yourself four or six apartments on, that'll be sufficient. Now the advantages of living in the city or buying a piece of land in the city, you will have, more than likely, will have electric on. Right, you'll have to upgrade the post. Normally a city property has got one clock, electric clock, in the post. Obviously if you're putting apartments there, you need more than one. The limit here is three. You buy a post with three plastic boxes. They actually molded into the post, into the concrete post, and then you have three clocks fitted. Right. Anything over three, you need a, a project from the electric board. So it starts getting a little bit more complicated. The other advantage buying in the city, you're going to have water on, more than likely have water pipe water it won't be the best in the world but you've got water and another advantage it will more than likely be fenced or walled okay but then again buying outside the city semi-rural location obviously not too far outside the city right. you'll get more for your money but you'll have to do all those things I've just spoke about electric, water, fencing off, there'll be a lot more work involved and a lot more money, even though you'll buy your land cheaper. Okay, so let's say, now this is talking, being realistic as I say, we're not talking about tourist areas, we're talking about in a cent, city centre, on a by route, which is like an estate inside of a city or on the outskirts of the city centre about 100,000 reais you should buy yourself something a decent plot I mean my plot in Rondonia was around that price and that was 30 square, uh, 30, square meter, 30 meters long from the front to the back and 15 meters across so that gave you 450 square meters and on there I put four apartments and there was actually room for another one at least and they was two bedroom apartments so 450 square meters is sufficient but you know if you want more you're gonna to have to buy something outside the center semi-rural and start from scratch, the, the, exactly what I've done actually here. 
semi-rural location but it's a good location not too far from the city centre not too far from the little town so we've got the land now 100,000 reais this is a more or less oh, don't hold me to this but you're talking you know more or less price the next thing, I'm having a look at my list now, we're going to base this on four small apartments, 30 square metres each. That's a good size. Right, you don't need to be a lot bigger than that. You could go a little bit smaller, but I wouldn't recommend it. 30 square metres. Now, if you, if you can't do it yourself, you're going to have to pay someone, obviously someone with experience now I'll give you my price I don't do building work for other people but I will overlook projects and I've got a good team who will do it okay so if you for example wanted me to take on the project of four small apartments 30 square meters each it will cost you 600 reais per square meter okay so for labor and this is not including the painting this is to build for apartment tiling of course water pipe work your electrics building from scratch roof on doors on to walk in and start finishing off regarding paintwork varnishing if there's any woodwork what needs varnishing you do that that this price is not included including that painting so 600 reais per square meter so for four apartments it will cost you 72,000 reais okay if you didn't want to pay me for overlooking the project you can find yourself a builder or builders who will normally charge 500 reais per square meter i charge an hundred on top of the price to overlook the project that's why it's 600. you might find someone who will do it even cheaper but that's the risk you take if you don't know what the standards should be and the way it should be done you can't really look over them can you you're just gonna have to have faith in them i know you don't get problems along the way okay so i will if you did employ me i will make sure that job is done correctly i'll be overlooking the job and they won't be getting paid until it's done the way i want it doing well, as I say, if you can find someone to do it for 500 or 400, right, it'll be cheaper than 72,000, which I'm going to charge you, including my cost. If you can get someone to do it for 500 per square meter, it'll cost you 60,000 for four. So you're saving yourself 12,000. The next thing is, is the building material I would estimate for each apartment 20,000 reais so for four you've got 80,000 okay that's all your material including your doors if you're having glass doors they are better actually to use glass doors glass doors and obviously glass windows that's including the price to pay someone come and measure up and then fit windows and doors for you so all the building material if you're in a semi-rural area which I spoke about earlier first of all you're going to have to get electric on the land all right so you need a post a post with three clocks which I spoke about they will charge you about 2,000 2,500 depending Come and fit you one of those. All right, they won't put electric on, that's down to the electric board. The other thing is 
water. You're going to have to have a bore hole drilled. Okay, not a big job again. Plenty of people doing them. But about two and a half thousand reais also. I don't know if I just said euros regarding the uh, posts, but it's reais. Keep saying euros. We're living in Europe for so long, obviously. But reais, two and a half thousand reais, 2,500. The other thing, you'll need an engineer's project. And this goes then to the Prefetura, like the council, and it's signed by them, signed off by them. You need this because the electric board will not give you a, give you a connection unless it's been signed off by the Prefetura. So, licenses for four, normally about a thousand each for that size. All right, it goes by the square meters. So the bigger the house, the more. But if you say 1,250 each, all right, if it's cheap, obviously it's a bonus, but 5,000 for that. Okay, so we've got the land, 100,000. We've got the engineer's project, five. We've got the borehole, the well, 2,500. We've got the electric post, 2,500. Your building material, 80,000. <clears throat> labour. This is labour for me to overlook the project and the builders to do the work. All right. 72,000. Right, so I'll just give you a total on all that. We've got a total there of 262,000 reais. Now, if you can do all the work yourself, everything, you can get that down to 190,000. Okay, but it's going to take your time, obviously. It's all right if you've got the time to do it, but if you want it doing pretty sharpish, you're going to have to pay more, obviously. But if you can do it all yourself, fair enough. Exactly the same as what I did. You're going to save yourself, what, 72,000. A big saving. All right, the next thing. Last. Things you must take into consideration. You need money to live on while you're there doing these building projects you might need a machine on the land if it's rural you're more than likely going to need a machine on there an excavator and then tipper lorries I've had all that I spent a load of money on that so if you do you're gonna to have to really have a look at the land before you go into buying it and make sure you know what you're buying because them machines they cost you 200 reais an hour a tip a lorry 100 an hour so it soon mounts up I had 600 tipper lorries leave my property with earth when we cut them banks away 600 of those so just imagine that machine was there for weeks the other thing is fencing You'll have to spend money on fencing material and fence it off. If you can't do it yourself, you're going to have to pay someone again. Concrete paths, driveways, entrances, stone, gravel, all that type of thing to get on and off the land. Furniture. All right, appliances. You'll need a fridge. You might want a television. You're going to have to have internet also, aren't you? You'll need internet. Tools, you might need some basics, hand tools, shovels, rakes, forks, cement mix even, wheelbarrows, all them things, they all cost money, they all mount up. And the other thing is, transport. Do you want to buy yourself a car or a motorbike? We'll do a video also regarding this, cost of things, vehicles. Okay, this is just building to get these projects done. And then after that, 
on four small properties you're going to be renting them for like 750 ish 700 750 depending again where you are and they also if you're going to furnish them out if you're going to put the basics in like i do a fridge a washing machine a cooker also a gas bottle uh, a bed now if you're going to do that you will get more for your rent but you're going to have to spend more i said that before so you've got to take all them things into consideration on top of your initial 262,000. So 262,000, you're talking about 50,000 euro or dollars. If it's pounds, it's going to be a little bit less. But it gives you an idea, realistically. And as I say, you're going to be earning about 3,000 a month on four. Now, if you can't live on 3,000, there's something wrong. You should be able to live on 2,000 reais a month if you live normal. A normal life. I mean, I and my wife, we live on 2,000 a month. So, you need to be saving money also because every month I say 2,000 to live on you might have a month where you need three or four thousand because of other things you've got your documents on your vehicles to pay and all them things there we are then well this has been some help to you realistically looking at it or looking at it realistically whichever way around you want to put it but that's what it's going to cost you I don't want it to be putting anyone off at all at least you know it's better than coming into something blind or being told otherwise as I say this is a more or less do not hold me to this but it'll be pretty damn close that's for sure prices have gone up recently regarding everything building materials everything cost of living has shot up but anyway i hope it's been some interest to you and some help anyone wants any more information you can email me i'll leave the email as before okay drop your comments and share like and subscribe please and we'll do another video any comments any suggestions put them in there and let me know and i'll do a video on them uh, we'll do a video on prices of uh, vehicles and that type of thing and food and petrol and all them types of things also okay so take care Speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.